last night. All right, guys, welcome back to some more awesome Assassin's Creed Odyssey gameplay, and we finally know the whereabouts of our mother. So uh, we got some solid clues, at least. It's getting excited, you know, and uh, kind of excited to find out where our mother is and uh, to know her whereabouts. So I'm, I'm thinking, should we level up or uh, should we get on with the main quests? Because I checked up a few side quests right now and none of them have a level 17 side quest. So all of them are at least higher than 20. I mean, there are a few out here like uh, these two quests, but uh, for now, I don't think I'm going to do that uh, for the people. Yeah, we could definitely do this. It's a level 17 quest. Or maybe, you know what, I think we should go with the Blind King mission. Talk to the blind man, wait, where is he? <laughs> okay, it's far, far away. Now, I, I, I guess the blind man quest, the quest that we're about to do is the extra mission uh, that I got with the gold edition that I bought. Oh, we have to go all the way here. Oh, come on. I, I, I did not, you know, it's it's always good to, uh, I guess, you know, synchronize at every point, no matter what. Can we go here? Can we, uh, like, fast travel to this location? They should have kept a few extra fast travel points here and there, so that would have been a little easier. Alright guys, welcome back, and I'm here at the location, so uh, only 40 more meters. Wait, why am I not able to talk to him? There you go. You there. You have a kind soul. Help an old man buy his next meal. You need it more than me. Here, take it. A generous gift. Thank you. What do they call you, stranger? I'm Cassandra. And you? Just a simple beggar. I sailed from Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian, but I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry, and I will. Then what? Be my eyes. When I was a boy, an Athenian told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go see the places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You've made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. What places do you wish you could have seen? Ah, my favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus in Athena, the perch of the armored bird in Arcadia, and of course, the mysterious mound Taigetos. You did say Mount Taigetos, didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans, so the people there offer their own children to the mountain god for sacrifice. That's... that's not exactly right. So, tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great bowl 
stood ready to punish the Kefalonians below. Or so I was told. There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. Her story always began. As we rounded the hilltops, we could see Athens bustling below us, and Athena above, matching our gaze. The Acrocorinth? Don't tell me. It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. It is the most renowned temple to Aphrodite, your goddess of all life's most pleasurable trivialities. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Its people are the happiest in all the Greek world. They sing and dance into the night with full bellies and full hearts. That isn't how it was described to me at all. The tales go that its lands are among the world's most beautiful and its people among the most pitiful. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians know peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. So there's a price on your head. Now I'm interested. There was, though there isn't any more. Now then, tell me another tale, and I'll tell you more of my past. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? Oh, it's even better than you can imagine. Made of pure gold. Chip one toe off her, and you'd have enough drachmi to eat for the rest of your life. Gold? No, it can be. I was always told she was bronze, and stood guard over the city of Athens, mourning the past and protecting the future. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia had known. He was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings? Hired to kill a simple blind man? Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. What do you remember about this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return. A papyrus says it was written by Themistocles. The Athenian general. This papyrus is so old. Could this be writing by Themistocles? Alright, so there are two locations that we can go to. So I think we should go to the one closest. <clears throat> Let me just check out where it is exactly. Oh. So it seems to be like a new place. And isn't Corinthia the, the place where we have a new quest as well? I think we got a quest in that place. Ah, there you go. So I might as well go there and look at that new location or the statue. And then maybe at the same time do the, the quest that we have available in that area and then come back. And, uh, well, 
I don't think I should skip the video to that point because it's a new location, so maybe you guys might want to see it. And, you know, get all excited and hyped about it. Okay, so this is Corinthia, land of a beautiful corruption. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Oh, I think I can see it. It's at that point on the mountain. Yeah, I can see it down here <laughs> yeah, I just want to take a screenshot from my thumbnail maybe seems like a perfect shot there you go yeah. So it's all the way up there. A city of pots, prostitutes, and not much else. Looks like the place. Oh, so is this the thing that he wants to see? The statue of Athena. I thought it would be extremely huge, you know, overlooking the entire uh, city of Corinthia. Let's go. But it's pretty high, though. You know, I'm gonna have to climb all the way up there. I think I'm gonna have to climb all the way up there. Alright, oh, that should be easy.
Heracles? Who knew the great general was also a poet? People come here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty. Exactly. I think I should go up there again to get a thumbnail photo. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Alright, so where to now? Should we go all the way up there? Or should we do the quest that we have at hand? Uh, you know, I think we should do the quest that we have in this area and then be done with it. Sorry about the cutscene, everybody. Uh, someone knocked at the door and I had to go check it out, but uh, by the meantime, I might as well thought uh, to go around, check out the place, and then maybe bring you back. Sorry about the cut, everybody. Someone was knocking at the door, and I had to go attend to them. Uh, anyways, uh, we're back, and... Um, so, I'm thinking we should continue with this quest stay out of sight. and be over with it in order to level up to 19 or 20 so that we can continue with a few more harder and uh, more difficult quests. Alright, so let's do this. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Wow, so this looks like a war zone or something, you know, a place where uh, a lot of wars have been fought and there's just so much memories in this place. I mean, that's how it feels like. Yeah, I think we should collect some wood on the way, because uh, I think I, I, I want to upgrade my ship a little, maybe add a few uh, archers and uh, spear throwers or whatever they're called. Uh, maybe increase the armor. Can we increase the armor of our ship? I, I never really checked that out. I might want to check that out after this mission and uh, yeah, you know, focus a lot more on the ship and at the same time do a few side quests because it's important. Alright, so we're close to the location. Oh, this, this is where it is. Okay, so that wasn't that far. Man, I'm, I'm just excited to reach the end of the game. It's such a big game, you know. I want to see how the story turns out to be, and how do we find her mom, and what exactly happens, you know. It's, it's, it's still not that obvious as to what, how the end is going to be, you know. I still don't know how the entire game, how, you know, the entire story is going to end. Like in Origins, Assassin's Creed Origins, we knew that we had to find the person who killed our son. Wow, this place is beautiful. Look at them. Oh, this 
is a perfect thumbnail. Wow, look at this thumbnail, everybody. Wouldn't you like this on my video? I'm sure everybody would love this thumbnail on my... Holy crap, look at that. Yep, that's a thumbnail for this video, everybody. That's a dead-eye thumbnail, man. That looks so sexy. Unbelievable. Wow. I'm just gonna take a few photos from every angle. Yeah, so as I was saying, I don't really know how the end of the game is gonna be. We... We knew how the end was going to be for almost every Assassin's Creed game. For this one, it's a little, you know, uh, kind of tricky. Because we're just going with the flow. Nothing really, uh, I mean, sure, we lost our parents. We lost our, uh, our mom, and we don't know who our real father is. Oh, so that could be the real story. You know, maybe find who the person is. You know, maybe find the person who gave it, who, who's our father, you know. Who gave us our life and birth and everything. Alright, so do we have something to jump on? Because if I die, I'm gonna die. Oh, holy shit, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. That, that was so bad, everybody. <laughs> that was so bad. So, do I have something to loot here? Okay. So, we got it. Uh, another location to go to right now. 4,000 meters away, that's pretty far I'm wondering do you guys really want to see me w go through the entire journey uh, do you want me to see how I reach the, the, the destination right now or do you want me to just you know skip to that point uh, you know what I think you'd prefer if I skip but this is such a very this is such a good place Wow look at the night should I turn it back to early morning or sunrise <laughs> I'm gonna check out how it looks with the uh, sun coming all over us. Sunlight coming all over us, sorry. Oh, that's that's still better. Oh, the hell. Oh, he's got a skull on him. That means he's way tougher, way tougher to beat. Does he really have a skull on him? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's impossible to kill him right now. Yeah! Oh, so it's, it's gonna be impossible to kill him. So I'm not going to waste my time on killing it. Can we kill a few bullocks? Oh, so we can kill them. That's awesome. I'm thinking you guys might like to see me ride through the entire way, you know. Wow, this looks like a super awesome alley, you know. Look at this area, everybody. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, this just looks so awesome. God, I want to be in that place. I wish I was born in that area. In that era, sorry. <laughs> in 400 BCE. Right, so this is taking a while. Uh, you know what? I think I will be skipping a little bit for you guys. So I'll see you back when I reach the destination. 
All right, guys, welcome back. And this place is so awesome. It looks so magnificent and beautiful. So it's called the Valley of Warriors. Oh my God, look at this scene, everybody. God, I just love the world in here. I mean, I just love it. Look at this thing, oh, unbelievable. So she just said that this is where everything changed. I don't know what she's referring to. I guess that is the battle. No, I don't know what exactly she's referring to. It can't be the Battle of uh, Leonidas because this is not the place where he died. But this place is known as the Valley of Warriors. And uh, yeah, every single enemy in here has a skull over its head. Off we go now. And yeah. every enemy has a skull over his head. So it's impossible to kill even a single enemy. We can't. I mean, he's a scully, so we can't kill him. But that's the point, you know. Everybody's extremely strong in here, so we gotta be stronger. Faster. Bigger. I don't know, why did I say that? Wow. I'm here. Come on. Oh, thank God I didn't miss it this time. Oh, that was so close. Holy shit, I thought I was going to hit the wall. Hit the rocks, sorry. Hit the rocks and... Oh, God, my head would have smashed and splattered like a balloon filled with water. Colored water, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we completed the entire mission. So let's get back to the location and complete the quest, you know. What the hell? Okay, so where is it? Wait, where is it? Exactly. Okay. So we gotta go here and do we have any... What? <laughs> Alright, so welcome back again. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to show you guys this part. I love it. Whenever I get to do this, I, I just love it. Holy shit. Look at the distance. They just expanded it to the entirety, you know. Holy crap, that's so cool. <laughs> 
this be like an awesome thumbnail? Do I bore you guys with all these thumbnail shots and everything? I'm really sorry about that, everybody, but I still do it for you, you know. I mean, everybody loves a great thumbnail on a video, though, right? It's, it's, I'm really sorry about that. I hope I don't annoy you with that uh, part of my gesture. Okay, should we press circle right now? Oh, there you go. I thought I was going to fall off, you know. Oops. Corinthia. Alright, so I guess I'll see you guys back when I reach at the destination. Because, do you guys want to see me go through the entirety? Because you definitely have seen me go through all these places at night time. Uh, you know what, guys? Who doesn't love a great scenario? Or, you know, everybody loves beautiful places and greenery. So, why the hell do I skip it every time? Alright, let's watch it. And I'm stuck again. I get stuck. God, this play this game is so big the map it's like you know never ending you know it's like it looks like a it, it feels like you're really in Greece or you know the entirety of, of the Greek world it feels like that it's so big it's I'm definitely sure it's bigger than uh, Assassin's Creed origins I think it's a little bigger than that yeah. I mean in my way, this game is covering up land, grasslands, water, and uh, sea and water, and, and mountains as well. I mean, you got mountains as well, right? I mean, we didn't have a lot of mountains in uh, Origins. We had deserts, we had, uh, you know, open lands, and again, with uh, not a lot of mountains to explore. But I guess in this game, we got that too. Huge, huge mountains to go to. And this game feels a lot like a war thing, you know, it's like a war-themed game. Uh, it's like the place is still fighting wars, and or, or as the game goes by, we've already fought a war, but the war still goes on in certain countries and places in, the, in, in Greece. Like, the Athens are going to face another war, as what I've heard in our previous gameplay, and as Herodotos uh, specifically mentions it, uh, in, in our few conversations with him. But, yeah, that's what I'm waiting for, you know. I, I definitely want to be a part of another war. The way we waged war against the... Uh, was it the Athens? Yeah, I guess it was the Athens. Yeah. I don't remember. Well, the first war, the first war that we fought was pretty good. So I definitely want to be uh, amidst uh, another war or something, you know. So I might do a few other side missions that uh, might end up uh, taking us into a war, and it'll be fun in a way. I definitely want to do that. I mean, I love the entire war theme in this game. It's like everybody's shook up of what what's just happened, and they're just praying for things to get better and better, but it just doesn't happen. And with us being some sort of a warrior or a eagle bearer, it feels good. It's like the entire theme is all rugged and sad happy but at the same time we know that we're gonna fight every second and we turn around there's an enemy at our face so we gotta fight him so it just feels like yeah you know you're you're totally in the midst of the game you're not uh, just free roaming and you have nothing else to do it doesn't feel like that when you go to a new place you get to know how strong their uh, uh, entire hear, empire is welcome back right so we've seen everything from there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Atere keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way. You owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too. He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. 
my brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible! That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother walked to the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I returned to Mount Tayedos. Returned? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is just a mountain like any other. What makes Tayetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child... I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Daigetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It is so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius's fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places that Mr. Cleese told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia. There's one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. Artaxerxes, false king! This Mistyos led me right to you! Time to finish what I started! Cassandra, please! Stand behind me. Your head is mine! <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to equip the uh, shield uh, ability that we can take it off his hand and hit it with him. Uh, yep, this is the one. 
So I think I'm gonna take this one and put it about put it back there. Alright. Oh! Yep. Whoa, so he's stronger. We can't believe it. Oh crap. It was a waste of effort. <laughs> It was a complete wasted effort. Oh, there you go, he's dead. Alright. Come on, let us know where the treasure is. I'm so excited to know where the treasure is. Maybe we could get some awesome armor out of it. I don't want money, I want armor. Are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trait I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life. And I went on an adventure for you. Your Highness. You did? Though, much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change. Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Now, for Themistocles' treasure, find the tomb in Salamis where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits. Alright, so this could be exciting. Uh, not that far too. It's awesome. I wonder what it could be. Definitely want to check it out. Ooh. Oh crap. Sorry. I need to find a boat. I'm not gonna swim all the way there. Oh, there you go. Thank God there was a boat close by. Who ever thought carrying boats across land was a good idea? go out any farther, I'll capsize. Okay, so yeah, there's also one more thing. Our boat can actually get destroyed if we take it a little farther in, into the ocean. Because the waves might just, I don't know, it just breaks them. I don't know how that happens, maybe. But I've seen that before. I've, it's happened with me when I actually cut a few scenes for you guys to travel that bit of an area. I took a boat to travel uh, to travel from. Uh, I don't remember the land. I think it was. Uh, I think it was at the Athenian area, and from there we had to go to the Chios Island. So I took a boat, a small boat, to travel the entire area, the entire sea. And well, I was halfway there, and my boat just shrunk. It, it just, you know, it just. I don't know, it just got destroyed and Best yep, it sight. just started to sink on its own. So, not shrunk, sorry. Sink, sorry. Yeah, so as I was saying, the boat uh, automatically tr uh, started to sink and uh, yeah, I just lost everything. I died. I had to swim all the way back, but it was a long way, so that was kind of boring. Whoa, there's, there are a lot of enemies here. Oh, maybe I can kill all of them. I, you know, I love the bull force thing. Uh, I've made it really powerful now. 
Whoa. Oh man, she's stronger. Or he's stronger. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take down one of their uh, side enemies or whatever they are. Uh, so that I can take all my time on to this douchebag. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. There it is. Wait, did we find the treasure already? Ah, there you go, you're dead, Dicky. Oh crap, I missed. How did I miss that? Oh, that would have been painful on her stomach. That would have been so painful. Alright, 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 let's go get the treasure. Secret treasure. I'm excited. Wait, is that it? I thought it was gonna be like a big cellar or something underground. Filled with gold and armor and everything. Oh, it's not that much. But we did get a lot of XP on this. Okay, so... It says we have some equipments better than things that were equipped right now, but I can't really equip them. They're, they require a higher level. Uh, oh, so I got this right now. Oh, so we have an we have an ability point, All right? Forgot about that. So we require a level 5 on our spear in order to upgrade the abilities section. Uh, but I think we should get this for now. Yeah, maybe make it a little stronger. Shoot a spread of 5 arrows at the same time and that each deal 100% 100, 100 damage. Special arrows can be used. Okay. Why is he not available? Why is not my horse available? Yeah. Alright, so I guess this was a blind mission thing. Alright, well I think I'm gonna end the video here everybody. So thank you for watching. I hope the mission was awesome. I mean, we get got to saw pretty awesome areas beautiful areas and we shot a few thumbnails I may have an OU with that part so I'm gonna reduce uh, you know the the, the affliction to take a snapshot wherever I go in this game so thank you for watching everybody hit that like button subscribe to my channel I hope you enjoyed my video this was a fun mission though this was a very fun mission and uh, not boring at all we got to see some awesome and beautiful places so well thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video